Hello and welcome to Freya's Tropical Garden. This video is another opportunity to see the South Sea Rock Gardens feature from episode 3. The South Sea Rock Gardens are located on the south coast of Portsea Island, which many may know better as Portsmouth. This is a free public garden, so it's well worth visiting if you're in the local area. The gardens were originally created in 1928 using unskilled labour from the government's back-to-work scheme after the World War I Depression. And although the garden has changed a few times over the years due to various factors such as flooding and hurricanes, it remains a beautiful and tranquil place to walk through or sit for a moment in contemplation. The South Sea Rock Gardens is sunken, which provides some shelter from wind and also from the salt from the sea. And it is planted with quite a few non-native species, with a lot of plants being chosen for their salt-resistant or drought-resistant qualities. So as you're walking through, you'll find a mixture of pine trees, low shrubs, alpines, herbaceous bedding and some tropical plants and cacti too. The gardens are maintained by Portsmouth City Council, who employ one head gardener full-time to look after it, as well as a team of volunteers called the Friends of South Sea Rock Gardens. The gardens also include many sensory plants, such as myrtle and rosemary, which was requested by the Royal Institute of the Blind. The many connecting winding paths and steps mean it's very easy to take a wander around the garden with several entry points into and out of the garden. There are several benches for sitting and many of them are hidden away in secluded little locations for peace and quiet. There's plenty to explore in the garden and you could almost miss this beautiful fountain hidden away in one of the more secluded spots, with a cascade of water flowing all the way down to the ponds in the lower garden. And if you look carefully, you may even find some small fish in the upper pond. And there's an abundance of bees, birds and butterflies that visit the garden, so it can be great for photography or just to sit and watch. The fountain was built in 1932, at the same time as an aviary was added, housing tropical birds, although this is no longer in place today. And then the gardens were closed during World War II and replanted with more tolerant plants, while the damage caused by the 1986 hurricane led to a renovation including better lighting and ramps for the disabled access. In 1949, a storm caused it to get flooded with water from the sea, but prompt access from the fire department led to them pumping the water out very quickly and saturating it with fresh water, so actually very little damage was done. For me, of course, as a lover of tropical gardening in particular, I find that this garden is wonderful for providing a few varieties of palm trees, cordylines, yuccas, echiums, succulents and cacti such as the puntia which can be hardy down here on the south coast although they weren't looking too good on my visit on this occasion. But the planting really is so varied I'm sure there'll be something for everyone to enjoy here and for a garden that costs nothing to visit and is open 24 hours a day every day of the year it is well worth a visit if you're in the area. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or on my website and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've enjoyed the content.